All right, day 11, and um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about being on the sidelines, being a coach, and being a player. Uh, my son is in soccer, and uh, he loves it. He loves just doing it, you know, um, being out there. Even when he's not in the game, he'll run around the field following his team, you know, on the outside of the white line. And um, he... Uh, he just gets a kick out of it, you know, and he wants to play the entire game. You, he's out there. He takes a sip of water and he runs out to the field, letting his coach know he wants to be in the game. And, you know, I just, I really respect that. But sometimes there's parents and they start screaming from the sidelines. And I'll admit, sometimes I'm guilty. Get in front of it! Kick it! Like they don't know this already. Like they're not trying to do it already. Instead, what we're doing is making it unpleasant for everyone and, you know, putting lots of pressure on the kids, which is totally uncool. So I've been just trying to cheer, you know, good try, good job, nice kick. And that's it, because that's what's needed, because the coach is the one to, that should be yelling, get in front of it or whatever, if there's some instruction needed. If there's a whole bunch of people screaming, no one can hear anything, and the kids get really confused. So I was thinking about life, right? So if you have someone who's really super helpful and giving you all these tips that you didn't ask for or suggestions, that person should just save their breath. Honestly, I'm usually su the suggestion person, so I try to just save my breath. Unless someone's asked me, giving me permission to be their coach. If I have permission to be their coach, I'll coach them and coach them and coach them and coach them because I'm good at that. But you know, when you start coaching people who they didn't ask you to be your coach, that's really useless for you and them because they're not interested in what you got to say. You're just wasting your time and your energy. So, um, but then there are some people who are always on the sidelines. They're never players. They never get out there. They never take the risk. They never just do it and get all in. And sometimes those people are quiet and sometimes those people tell those of us on the field what they think we should do. Strangely enough, they should be on the field. Same thing happens in business, you know. Um, sometimes people give you unsolicited advice. And you know, if you're in a really good place, you might can hear it and take advantage of it. Most of the time, they're just wasting their breath. <laughs> and then the other thing I've taken from soccer, and this is so important and so key, and I try to remember this every single day. My son Maceo enjoys himself. Does he like it when, he win when they win, even though they don't keep score? They're not supposed to anyways, but of course he keeps score. Um, even when he, uh, when they win, he's happy, but when they, they don't, he's like, that was fun. I had a great time. And then there are some little boys who have such pressure on them to win from the sidelines that they seem to just hate what they're doing if they don't win. And I got thinking about in business, you know, so like think about you know, it's like, oh, if I make this money, then awesome. And if I don't, this just all sucked. But what if we just enjoyed every moment? And we're like, oh, wow, that was an awesome thing to learn. Oh, see, like this, I'm hoping to learn custom thumbnails. Because I don't want to be all like, on my picture. That blows. So anyway, you know what I mean? Like, just taking the time to enjoy the learning. Enjoy the process. Those are the people that are happiest in life. Because... Whether you get your result or you get to the end of your journey, if it wasn't fun getting there, you've already kind of lost. So my recommendation to you is to take another lesson from a sale, which I try to do every single day, and just enjoy the process. Enjoy where I'm at. Only coach people if they've asked me to, and to play and not be on the sidelines. So that's day 11. I'll see you guys tomorrow.